there was so much excitement behind the dual chromes that I received in the Ice Cream Beauty. So we're gonna play around with Ice Cream Beauty box items today. If you didn't see the unboxing, I did the dual unboxing where you would get to see the variation for the bag as well as the books. And yeah, that went up yesterday. So you might wanna go check that out. I am gonna link it below along with other videos that were recently launched that I highly recommend you go check it out. But today we're gonna play around with makeup. We have the lippy, this aligner, Okay, Nena, when you see it on the eyeball, and I got you guys a little closer, get an even closer look at that liner. It was so stinking pretty. We have this palette, and then we got the Moon Slash. I feel like I have a better variety within this palette, so I kind of want to go with this one. Ay, Dios mio, it's just so complicated because that green-blue duochrome, but I feel like this one could kind of be similar. So we're going to go with this palette today. And yes, my... Face is already on. I have my Stigma Bronzer, which is their matte dark bronzer. My blush is the Il Maquillage I got in Boxy. The foundation is the one size. You guys go watch the wear test. Just go watch the wear test, okay? For the under eyes, I actually used the new Gerard Cosmetics powder. This is their Slay the Bake No Filter Soft Focus powder. This is their Lavender last year. Oh, I gotta blend that. Ah, hold on. So last year, Gerard Cosmetics, I think it was last year, maybe the year before, they released powders, which was kind of like new for them because that's not something that they would normally do. They released a pink and a like banana yellow uh, powder. It was like powder season, okay? Well, this time around they released a lavender and it looks really good under the eye. This is not the first time I use it. I did a short form video unboxing it and trying it, first impressions and all of that, and it was good. So yeah, so that's what I have. I primed my lids. Don't ask, you'll find out soon. And we can finally get to playing around with this palette. I feel like I definitely want to go with this shade, but we have to come up with a crease that works. It's a good thing I cleaned my brushes. I think it would look really nice. Bear with me. If we go in with this stone shade, and the reason why I'm going with it is because it's not a plain old stone. It does have like more of a blue base to it, which is why it would make sense over like the cream shades. So I'm like rolling my brush into it. So I'm gonna tap out and I am going to kind of lay the product to right directly on the crease on this outer corner. I'm just gonna tappy tap really simply. I know you guys are so excited. Some of you guys got the, um, or are getting the more neutral toned palette because they were like two separate variations. I don't get to choose what I get in my box. It's fine. I do get them for free, so I can be beaky. And I think this palette is actually kind of fun in terms of like color story. I have and get so many neutral palettes that something like this that makes sense and works and the color story makes sense is very fun to me. I've gotten palettes where like, it's like pure lavenders and then like greens. And it's like, what am I supposed to do with this? And then I'm really challenged in terms of creativity. So now that I have the color laid, I'm going to lightly drag whatever's left. I want to bring a shadow. I don't want it to be super intense, but I definitely want a bit of a shadow. See how I'm like gently dragging some pigment. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of keep doing the same process you see here. Now that I have some pigment, over on the beginning, like the inner portion of the eye crease area, I am gonna switch up brushes. I'm gonna go in with a fluffier brush and I'm really gonna blend that edge because yes, it is a deeper shade and you can totally smoke the eye out with it, but I'm trying to create a transition shade out of it that makes sense for this blue. This alone is very nice. Say that you're like, no, I want like a wearable, natural looking eye this gray. If you go in very light handed with it, it would look really pretty just on the crease, nothing else, a wing, mascara, calling it a day. So this is definitely a really nice shade. Now that I have somewhat of a transition, we can dip into the duochrome. Now duochromes are gonna be one of those formulas that are kind of like finicky, right? So you can either pick it up really well with a brush or not, and then you would have to go in with a finger. I prefer product that you're able to use with a brush. That's just personal preference. Um, I don't like dipping my finger into formulas, but if need be to make it look beautiful and make it work, then I will push that issue and go ahead and do that. Pero mira, this duochrome picked up like a freaking dream. Now, how does it apply? 
Isn't that pretty? The shift is very mermaid-esque. So as I'm blending, I'm getting blue on this side because the light is hitting this way and I'm looking directly into it. And that's that's the beauty behind dual chromes. The fact that you can have more than one color on the eyeball, but you're only applying the one. Isn't that amazing? It shifts on you so pretty. It kind of looks like mermaid scales. I'm going to just pat this all over the lid. This formula is beautiful, okay? Like this dual chrome is doing its thing. I'm so happy. Now, is it gonna start to separate? Cause I know my base is fire, okay? Um, is it gonna separate? Is it going to fade as I blend the edge? We're gonna figure that out together. But first impressions, it's picking up with a brush. It's blending. It is vibrant. It's pigmented. It's beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eyeball. And yes, there are duochromes that just miss the mark. One time, one time I was doing a look. I applied the duochrome on one eyeball. And then by the time that I got to the other one and I'm like applying it, it had creased. I was like, no, 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 no. And yeah, it was just not a good formula, but this one, and I don't even remember what brand it was, but this one's fantabulous. If you're new here, just trust the process. It always works out in the end. Love the eyeball. I'm going to go ahead and dip right back into that gray. And I'm going to add that again on the outer corner, bring it in. And I'm just going to kind of softly diffuse that edge. And I'm hoping that I don't lose that green, at least not fully, because that green is a stunning. But we do have to make sure that it kind of makes sense in terms of the gradients. But she's beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of blow that out. The green is still greening, okay? That pigment, Oh, And by the way, Fallout Wear. It's looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and whatever is left on the brush of that gray, I'll just kind of drag that down here. And the same on the other eyeball. Now I have options, right? Because I could potentially and totally go in with the um, gold duochrome and kind of wake the eye up a little bit, but I think that I, I, I need to go in with this liner because I loved it. I like loved it. I don't know about the price point, like $24, but no, um, it's really good. So I want to go onto this inner corner. Two yellow for the green is a thing and it might look a little wonky. This here is a pale gold. It's almost like a white gold in a sense, but with yellow tones to it. So it would make more sense to use this liner on the inner corner to brighten the eye up over using a, another duochrome. Plus that do it's it's a beautiful gold, but it's like an intense yellow bronzy gold. So it would kind of shift the green off of the eye in a weird way. So I'm gonna line the inner corner like so and then blend it out with my finger because I don't want it to be like harsh either. But before I go ahead and do that, I think I want to dip into the black with the brush that we used on the grain. And I'm going to just kind of lightly tap out here. I don't know. I think it adds to the look. Make sure it's not harsh. I will go in with my pinky and press that liner in. See how it does something. It's not too much, but it does something. And then I'm gonna apply a black liner on the waterline. And we have got to elevate the look with mascara and lashes. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, my chica boom booms, the eyes are done. Could we go a little deeper? Sure, I can add a little more black, a little more gray. I just feel like it works. And don't mind this, I do have a dent here and I don't know why. I've always had a dent there. So blending becomes a bit of an, I think it has to do with my, anyway, doesn't matter. The eyes are fantastic. So if you chose this palette, mm, get excited and Moon Slice did their thing. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply the lippy. It's a, it's a brown. And I know you're probably thinking, well, it should go with the green because I mean, a tree has brown and green. No, no, no. And I'm sure nobody's thinking a tree has brown and green. That's just me and my brain. But it just doesn't, I don't think it's gonna go. But anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna neutralize the look, if you will, like on the lip, at least the combo. I'm gonna use the copper lip liner. This one is by Ofra. If you got the mystery box, mija. If you got that mystery box, get esarre. So I'm just gonna 
line my lips. Wait, 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 I just thought about it. If you don't even know what I'm talking about, Ofra did release their deluxe mystery box for 2024. It is fantastic. With my promo code, you're gonna get it for like 30 semi dollars, which don't sleep on that promo code, girl. I do get a little bit of a referral kickback, if you will, pero I did the entire reveal here on the channel that will be linked below. And I also followed up with a try on of the product so you guys can see how it performs. If you love the creativity and the pigment and all of that within this video that box is amazing because with for just a few more bucks you're getting well over 220 dollars value everything is full size you get to try so many different products and or formulas and it's probably going to be one of the most amazing deluxe mystery box deals you're ever going to find i'm just putting it out there and you guys if you've tried ofra you know what i'm talking about please let people know what i mean in the comment section because i you know i'm not cray cray when product is good i have to tell you product is good oh wait i forgot how could I forget? This is your daily reminder to make sure you do all the things for me. Make sure you're hitting the like button. The comment section is there so that you can communicate with your community. Make sure you're interacting with today's video because that tells YouTube you're enjoying the content and in turn, they'll go ahead and show my content to a broader audience. Plus, we'll customize your experience on the YouTube based on your personal preferences. Please click the subscribe button if you're interested in joining our little family here on the YouTube. And I do have channel memberships. This is my G Squad. I absolutely love them and I appreciate their support. Joining the G Squad has elevated their support for my channel and I'm so grateful. So if you're ever interested in joining channel memberships, all you have to do is hit the join button below and you are good to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and I have an announcement coming in a few weeks. So I don't even know how to share this with you guys, but I'll do it. It's coming. This shade is the name Good Vibes. It's beautiful and comfortable. So if you want a liquid lip that feels like a pillow on your lips, you want this. That's what Good Vibes is gonna look like on my lips. I absolutely love this formula and the packaging is everything, $18. Here's the thing. I don't think it pairs well with the eye, right? Um, how would I wear this lip? Well, I would totally do a very natural, neutral look on the eye. Keep it simple, build up the mascara, maybe even add some falsies and it would look stunning. Or I would do gold all over the, like gold all over the eye and then pair it with this lip combo because it's a stunning, stunning color. I would probably even get away with a peach. Very neutral, peachy eye, warmer crease area, it would look really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and neutralize her. I can't show you what I'm using, so I'm just gonna try to cover it up. I'm gonna apply that on the lip to brighten it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna blend that in. Kinda create more of an ombre. This is a more wearable combo for the eyes. All right, you guys, now here is the completed look. The eyes are everything, are they not? And I feel like that liner on the inner corner just added that hint of something that we needed. I'm obsessed. It's so pretty. But of course, I always wanna hear you guys' thoughts. So it is your turn to let me know what do you feel about the look? Would you actually wear this and rock it with confidence? Or are you still struggling with a little bit of color? I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. today's video. I appreciate you taking the time to click and watch. And I really hope to see you on the next one. Bye guys.